Well, this young man certainly gives the impression of understanding his inner workings. Uh, how much of this is true? Well, I agree. One would think that he has really deep insight into what he's doing and the causes for it and the need to correct this kind of behavior in the future. But if you follow this kind of person along, you find that this insight that seems so deep actually doesn't penetrate below the surface at all. It's as if they're using words that have, have no meaning to them in, in any way. But it must be very persuasive on first contact. Oh, I'm afraid it is. They, they're very persuasive people. They're often quite charming and engaging, and they are quite capable of en enlisting the help of a lot of well-meaning people who try very hard to help them realize they've gotten into a lot of difficulties, seem somehow to sense that their difficulties are on the basis of something emotionally wrong with them, rather than simply criminal behavior, for example. But I'm afraid in most instances their efforts are generally to no avail at all. What do you think is just an irresponsible person? Well, irresponsible in a sense, but if one looks over <coughs> from a long-range point of view what he's done over the past few years, it amounts to more than simple irresponsibility. He has all kinds of golden opportunities to do something for himself, and he blows them every time. And, and gets into criminal activity. And, uh, what's the difference between him and any other criminal? Well, in this patient, the criminal activity seems to be purely on impulse. It doesn't seem to have any good reason for it. The, the, the so-called normal criminal robs a bank for the $10,000 that he gets out of it and for what it will buy him. The psychopath robs not so much for the joy of stealing as the kleptomaniac does, but simply because he wants something right now and he goes and gets it and takes it regardless of the consequences. Were you implying then that he's a sick person? Yes, I would certainly say that he's sick. I think it's difficult meeting him, say, in the courtroom or in the psychiatrist's office to say that he's sick. He seems to behave perfectly well. He thinks clearly. He seems to understand what he's doing, what he has done, and what he should do. But the moment he leaves, he does quite the opposite. And one has to look at him from a longitudinal point of view and see that an individual with all his capacities has simply failed over and over again for no adequate reason. Well, can you cure him? Cure him, I doubt it. I don't think that this man really is susceptible to successful treatment. I think it's really more a question of protecting the community from his damaging activities. Is this because Skyder doesn't know enough or because it's just impossible? Well, perhaps a bit of both. I think, as far as the second part of your question is concerned, that these people probably because of damaging experiences in their childhood or some genetic factor that they inherit, are unable to relate and therefore unable to use treatment. There's nothing to work with. They, they're like, we'll say, the cerebral palsy child who has a physical disability that he is unable to walk correctly for the rest of his life. And that has happened in, in childhood and one can't change it. These people have some kind of emotional instability disorder that probably developed in their early childhood and remains a more or less fixed thing. Well, then is he responsible for what he does? Very difficult problem <coughs> in the court because he's obviously competent, certainly not insane, then he's generally held responsible for what he does. What happens is that most judges are so impressed by the obviously pathological history lying behind the individual crime for which he may be appearing to recognize that this man isn't the ordinary run-of-the-mill criminal, often refers him to a psychiatrist or a psychiatric unit for treatment. And they can't do anything about him? And they very often fail, discharge him back into the community. All too often, he just simply carries on where he left off. So he may go back and forth between the judicial authorities and the psychiatric authorities in the, in the, in the hospital sense without anything really being done.